Good morning. This is Father Stephen Kelly from St. John's Church in Detroit. We're continuing our series of daily morning meditations, where we generally look at one or another lessons that are assigned for morning or evening prayer, what is known as the daily office lecture. And today is Good Friday. Today we commemorate the crucifixion of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who died for our sins. He died for the sake of the whole world's sins, that we all may come to know him as Lord and Savior and to be forgiven if we believe by grace through faith in him. Uh, I thought for the morning meditation today, we'd have a, uh, we read the first lesson from Genesis, where we hear about the sacrifice of the son, whereas God called for the sacrifice of his own son, Jesus Christ, to die for our sins. We hear in this lesson today from Genesis about God tempting Abraham, and it sets up a foreshadowing of what is to come. Genesis chapter 22, beginning at first, the first verse. And it came to pass after these things that God did tempt Abraham and said unto him, Abraham, and he said, Behold, here I am. And he said, Take now thy son, thy only son Isaac, whom thou lovest, and get thee into the land of Moriah, and offer him there for a burnt offering upon one of the mountains, which I will tell thee of. And Abraham rose up early in the morning and saddled his ass and took two of his young men with him and Isaac his son and clave the wood for the burnt offering and rose up and went unto the place where God had told him. Then on the third day, Abraham lifted up his eyes and saw the place afar off. And Abraham said unto his young side, Son, young men, abide here with the ass that I and my lad will go yonder and worship and come again unto you. And Abraham took the wood of the burnt offering and laid it upon Isaac his son. And he took the fire in his hand and a knife and they went both of them together. And Isaac spake unto Abraham his father and said, My father. And he said, Here am I, my son. And he said, Behold the fire and the wood, but where is the lamb for the burnt offering? And Abraham said, My son, God will provide himself a lamb for a burnt offering. So they went both of them together. And they came to the place which God had told him of, and Abraham built there an altar, and laid on the wood in order, and bound Isaac his son, and laid him on the altar upon the wood. And Abraham stretched forth his hand and took the knife to slay his son. And the angel of the Lord called him out of the heaven and said, Abraham, Abraham. And he said, Here am I. And he said, Lay not thine hand upon the lad, neither do thou anything unto him. For now I know that thou fearest God, seeing thou hast not withheld thy son, thy only son, from me. And Abraham lifted up his eyes and looked. And behold, Behind him a ram caught in the thicket by the horns. And Abraham went and took the ram and offered him for a burnt offering in the stead of his son. And Abraham called the name of that place Jehovah Jireh, that is the said to this day, in the mount of the Lord it shall be seen. And the angel of the Lord called unto Abraham out of heaven a second time and said, By myself have I sworn, saith the Lord, for because thou hast done this thing and hast not withheld thy son, thine only son, that in blessing I will bless thee, and in multiplying I will multiply thy seed as the stars of the heaven, and as the sand which is upon the seashore, and thy seed shall possess the gate of his enemies. And in thy seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed, because thou hast obeyed my voice. And of course we know that ultimately in this situation God provides the sacrifice of the ram, but Abraham says that God will provide the lamb for the sacrifice. And today for Good Friday, we commemorate the Lamb of God who is sacrificed for the sins of the world, Jesus Christ. God spared not his own son. He spared Abraham's son, but he didn't spare his own son, but offered him up for our sins and for our salvation. We gather today for worship for Good Friday. We have a unique liturgy on Good Friday from noon till three. The choir will be offering Stainer's The Crucifixion. Uh, we will have the Liturgy of the Word with the reading of the Passion Gospel. We will have the solemn colics that are only prayed on Good Friday. We will have the veneration of the cross. And then we will have communion from the reserved sacrament that has been reposed in our garden from the garden watch. It's a good time. It's an important time. It's a time of solemn reflection and thanksgiving. And I do hope if you can't join us for the entire service from 12 to 3, that you'll come for as much of the service, either at the start or come in the middle. But either way, come and worship with us. And may your Good Friday be full of blessings.